and helping them get back on their feet. It's called Zaman International and it just opened Zaman Culinary Kitchen this past December and here to help us cook up some comfort food on a cold Thursday morning is the organization's head chef uh, Daniela Abel. Thank you so much for uh, joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about the culinary kitchen as we begin to prepare okay. some of this comfort food. Yes, so um, Zaman International is supporting marginalized women and children mm -hmm. um, through a couple different ways. Uh, first of all, we do literacy training. Um, we help them if they're facing food insecurities. We um, also do vocational training in the culinary arts, which is what this is all about. All right. So, so we're going to we start over here on this side. Yes. Go. There you <clears> go. So beautiful dough here in the bowl that we made, but we're not going to tell you how we made it because ah, you have to come to classes okay. for that. <laughs> so there are classes, and are these classes just for the women trying to get back on their feet, or are they available for everyone? So actually, that's a separate vocational class. The um, community classes are available for absolutely right. anyone who wants to join starting on the 26th. So we shape that okay. dough right here, um, then you have the finished dough. You can put that right over there okay, in the corner. Um, right. The finished dough, you're just going to roll out. Little by little, do you want to try? Sure, why Yeah, not? go right ahead. Okay. So as you're rolling out the dough, you're really going to want to make sure to prepare your pizza pan. Mm -hmm. um, the cornmeal on the bottom of a pizza pan not only gives it a really great crunch, right. but also it's going to help it not to stick. So a little harder than it looks, huh? Well, <laughs> you you're trying to get it right. I'm not sure how. <laughs> anyway, I put you in a black suit, too. I'm sorry. I'm good. I'm all in a right. black suit, I should I won't say. Melt. I'm sorry. <laughs> good. Is that better? Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Should I just hand, should I hand the, should the roller over? Hand it to the pro. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so you want to see, it, it takes a little bit of work, but this is great mm -hmm. because this is homemade pizza dough. Right. And again, something that we're going to teach on April 27th, with our brand new community class that is going to launch. And a little trick, you want to make sure it doesn't stick. Oh, you see, flip so it over. So flip it over, that's right. A little bit of flour little, on yep. top. And then when you end up transferring it, you're actually going to take it roll it around the pin, ah, take it. So then it's not a hot and mess. And transfer it, everyone's going, right. oh yeah, yeah there I you get go. it now. That's what separates the pros from us average <laughs> Joes. <laughs> so we're gonna spread that out a little bit, and then we're gonna put on all our toppings. First of all, okay. extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Super, super important, like a little lake, we so say. A lot, more than you think. More than you think, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to spread this all out with our hands. Then make sure to get all the way to, to the, the ends edge. here. Yeah, what happens exactly. if you don't? Um, you end up with burnt crust. Okay. And no one likes burnt crust. Um, now we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper first. Okay. So a little, little bit. bit. Of seasoning. A little bit of seasoning, exactly. So we have about a minute left or so. Sure. So we're adding the salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of mushrooms on top of that. Um, and then we're going to add that cheese on top okay. of everything else. So I may not be a great chef, but uh, <laughs> I can certainly hold bowls. How about oh, that? Oh, I thank you so much. So after this, you're going to cook it at about 375 in a normal oven. Mm -hmm. A little bit of basil, a little bit of garlic on top, and a little bit of all beef salami. Um, then you're going to put a little more cheese on top and finish it off with the pièce de résistance. Oh, what what do we have here? Truffle What's, oil. Oh, truffle oil. Truffle oil here is really what makes this absolutely amazing. So we're going to just. Little by little, little drizzle, little drizzle, just like that. And you know, I actually thought because this is the finished product, and I thought that it already had some truffle oil on it. It smells so good. Smells now, if you would like, like to you. learn how to do this, you can uh, go to uh, Zaman's Culinary Kitchen. They have open enrollment. The community classes are they begin April 27th. Daniela, thank you so much for thank joining you. us for oh, this delicious. I'm, I'm excited. The verdict. Mm.